Hello everybody once again, this is Hakua Kazoo and welcome back to week 3 for Hello CLS everybody once again, one. this is Hakua Kazoo and welcome And once again I forgot to switch off my own live stream, I apologize for that But right now we have West Smooth, we have Mad Siav going up against Chicken Nugget And I checked with the captain, SIA actually means bad luck Because it's a, I don't know, it's a slang in Malay, Malay or something So SIA actually means bad luck, I have no idea why They want to name their team name Mad Bad Luck You get what I mean? I mean literally Let's do an introduction of all the members here. From Chikanaga, Captain Puku Tian is a Moon Lord, Fish Pop Game Master, yeah! Elastra, Starcraft 2 Crusader, and Kamika the Temper is going up against Metsia, which is Captain Bubu Yin's Elastra, Kenshin I2, Guardian played by Nelson, Dam Rubbish Destroyer, Swiftly Tempers, and BS Alchemy. Dear Dab, as right now the game is already underway. And let's look forward to an epic show match. Not show match, I'm kidding by the way. An epic queue of 4 mode here with the Illustra going up against the Dead right from the start. No, that's a Tempest here, my bad, as he has a name Chemical, which I thought is something that is quite related to the uh, Dead. Why is a Freezing Sword from the start here from Bubuin? That's definitely a good news for Chemical there. Eh? As Bubuin takes like 4% damage here, I think the server is lagging pretty badly. I experienced it through myself on a PvP before this. So it's been tough for both teams to play at their optimal standard here, but I can see the Spirit Blue is baited. Kubuin cast the Ice Sphere defensively in bid against the Hurricane Dance entrance. Baits the all nice bait, nicely baited here as the Freezing Swords connects here, 18% HP taken away for Kamika. As the Flame Roll will force him to use his combos. A hurricane Dance connection there, unfortunate for Kamika not to connect as well. As the Blizzard Storm is used defensively, Kamika takes more damage here, 33% HP loss. As you can see the burn damage still racking up another 1%. So we're going doing well, going to avoid the ultimate nicely. See a nice freezing sword as well on the Super Shot counter. Frost been avoided. Oh, the freezing field connects 12,000 damage on the Tempest and the woman as a kick shot into the second kick iframe used well. It's caught by Frost Win. Fish Wave avoided with a nice reactive blink here. I think that was the aerial evasion here. As Chemical needs to do more damage, it's going to get caught by a mythical gravity ball. She gets caught. Main spot avoided, but look at that. The Hurricane Dance needed to do the damage done on Bubu in here. Even though if it's going to be taken away by the next Freezing Swords He's trying to take the HP and the mana pool of the Bubu in the Lestra here as much as possible Freezing Fear of Water this time, 11% HP You can see another Freezing Swords connect, as you can see Bubu in choosing to switch off his shield right now He's going to go close with the Ice Cage And the Freezing Swords is what I'm talking about here As you can see Kenshi the Spectator Saying that there's no more MVP for Bubu at the moment because of his mana issues. Unless he takes away the next player extremely fast or he'll lose lesser mana than he used. But that will be definitely very tough here as you can see. They should be gaining mana as we're waiting for the lineups to be selected from 24% to 25%, maybe 26%. Indeed we see another percent here but you can see the Moonlord being used. Just need to get a, like I think two batches of Moonblade done. Oh, defensive boom, like Spiegel said, nicely done here. As you can see Bubu in choosing not to use his shield. Oh, Freezing Swords cancel here, I think this is a risk not well taken as Puku Tien stuck in the Poison Spirit at the moment to see the Freezing Fury as we can see him shifting back Nicely done, 13,000 damage here Glacier Wave as well, and Quick Storm Nice travel from Bubu, it's gonna take him away Oh, gets hit by half and Slash, let's be careful He doesn't have a shield, the Moonblade does! Oh, Bubu, just when he had a good run there As I believe that was an unlucky moment, Puku Tien actually lagged and disappeared on the screen and appeared behind him, so his Inferno didn't quite connect there. Unfortunate for him, as he was looking to take away another player. Right now it's 4 4 Pudin, Chicken Nugget, and Mets. Yeah. You see the BS Alchemy, the Zap coming up next. But you can see 24% HP for Pukutin at the moment, it's going to try to go offensive. They're going to get caught by the Memo Punch iframe, indeed it is. This is going to be taken away straight away. We're going to wax as well, it's going to be lights out for him. Bubble Bubble avoided here. Gets caught by the Magma Wall, good night. Say it's alchemy here. BS alchemy or is it bullshit alchemy? Not too sure. But academic classes is definitely extremely cute. You can see the star decal decoration there on the cheeks as well. But Matt's are leading 4 to 3 right now in game 1. You see the Illustra, yeah! Coming up next against the Dap here. Going in strong, Physical Swords going to harm, Physical Swords avoided by 
alchemy nicely done, he's buying enough time to bubble bubble Whoa, he actually went like the side past him, it was just, it was very close definitely, as he was anticipative. Bubble bubble from the alchemy, he knows his beta on the flame spark here, not too sure if that was a mistake, I think it was a mistake as he goes away from the ice wave, but let's not get frozen here, if not it's going to be trouble. Let's come out of freezing fuel as it tumbles too early, the ice beam, the jack shot avoided, as he avoids the shatter as well. The wax cannot be seen here, but it's actually on the floor. Nice magma wall used once again. I think he's buying time for the ice expression here. The bubble bubble! Oh, doesn't connect here as he baits the bling. Let's come by Frostwind! Let's be careful here! Nice glacial wave on the Frostwind normal attack. Ice shower! No, the chilling mist takes him away. As he was slowed down by the Frostwind there. Definitely very unfortunate for BS Alchemy. But definitely a very nice try as well as it's difficult for adepts to fight Elastras here. Back to 3-3 right now, so these both teams are going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but you can see that Chikunaga has lost their Tempest. And they have lost their Moonlord as well, so I would say it's a fair exchange, but the Destroyer needs to take this player away here, must be crucial to get Elastra, if not they will be in trouble. Nice reactive frosting here, but you can see the Circle Swing is a counter, but the Shot Wolf as well, nicely done by, yeah, at the moment, but it avoids the Glacier Wave. Let's go by the Merge somehow here, the rolling attack of Vada with nice area evasion timing, the freezing field of Vada as well. See the Woven Use trying to proc the breaking point here, doesn't get lucky, cancels the Shatter there with a nice storm. You can see, yeah, down to 12% HP. And Powering How Use gets caught by the freezing swords here, takes more damage. Nice glitch wave on the circle swing here, could be crucial. But he's down to 1% mana as Cyclonex is used, yeah, in trouble, but the Ice Cage freezes him, cancelling the. The Cyclone's axe here, but he doesn't have any mana anymore. So I will say, yeah, definitely did extremely well against the Destroyer here. He lost about 70% of his HP. Well done, sir. Definitely, definitely, yeah, for a chicken nugget at the moment. Alright, now we're back to 3 2. As Matt Sia is leading by 1. But you can see, damn rubbish is already pretty low HP, and he has 5 Gear Master here. It's gonna be troublesome, definitely. It's caught by Rocket Jump Finch at the start. Flying Swing used, but not get silent, but he gets silenced here, he's in trouble. It's caught by the Wax. Oh, it's gonna be taken away right away. The Gravity Grenade. The Bubble Bubble. Oh, he hits the Mecha Duck instead here as damn rubbery 6% HP. Now he needs to do a uh, XQT. Possibly Miracle Moment. Iron Skin is used. Of course, getting caught by Biochemical Missile here. It's caught by Chainsaw Tower, I can see. The Maelstrom How. Oh, he gets caught by the Ice Bomb Tower, it's gonna be taken away. Slow down. 0% HP as the silence, the Mecha Siren. Look at that, Mecha Zap racking up the kill here. Extremely well done by the Gear Master Fish Pop, as I think he's a very good, very good Gear Master as well. So in the Garden, we're going up next. We're going to be seeing Nelson playing Kenshi 92, the Guardian. No, we see Swiftly the Tempest coming up next. I think they are going to be saving the Garden and Crusader matchup at the end. I can see they're going toe to toe at the moment, they're down to the last two players. You watch out for the Mechanic Eye Frame here from Sifty, but Sifty is a very good Tempest here. Oh, nice booming kick here on the Wing Attack. Let's come by Flash Grenade and Ice Bomb Tower into Bubble. He's in trouble right now in the Ping Pong as well. Fish Pop for you once again. The Ice Bomb Tower continues to rain on Sifty here. Look at that, the Rocket Jump was used. Hurricane Dance on the tower here to buy time for himself to wait until the Ice Bomb Tower disappears. He gets enough time here, you can see. The slow actually bought him extremely long time of iframe as the hurricane dance there was slowed down as well. Gravity grenade well placed, the star attacks here, or oh, it's, it's just a mess of everything right now. As the ultimate avoided as well by Fish Pop, he was out of range. Extremely exciting between Swiftly and Fish Pop at the moment. So apparently he hates fighting Gear Masters, I think this is why. Just be careful to keep iframe used by Hurricane Dance Connect here on Fish Pop, extremely well done by Swiftly! Takes him away! Nicely done by Swiftly here, but Fish Pop, thumbs up for you definitely. For bringing him even down to that, I think what, 6% HP or is that 10%? You can see that he has extremely low HP left. I think it's 3% or 4% HP left, maybe. Right now, Swiftly against StarCraft 2 the Crusader. It's the last man, the goalkeeper for Chicken Nugget at the moment. This is do a good judge hammer there, you can see coming out soon. Should charge against the kickshot iframe, nicely done. As swiftly buys time for the hurricane dance here. This is try to take more HP as much as possible. 
Hurricane Nuts connects here, you can see the Lion Zap now affecting him. Oh, he to, as he gets caught here, he need to get the Spirit Boost up very soon. But I can see the heal use one skin. Holy Radic, yeah, it's about it. With a nice kick try, Iron going with a nice power attacks here from 2-3 at the moment. This is the continued. Alpha connects here, 16% HP. He knows he has done a damage here, but I can see the block being used. This is the right time for the next Hurricane Dance. Will he be able to do it? The Divine Avatar is 4, 7% HP at the moment. Just be careful. Let's land one more Hurricane Dance here. Goes in the kick drive and Hurricane Dance connects! Oh, game one goes to. Nets, yeah. In a very exciting fashion here as Kenshi 92. Nelson's not needing to come up. Very exciting game from Metsia yeah, against Shikanaga at the moment. Definitely thumbs up for both teams. We're going into game two right now. This man to play too much dragon ness. Actually I switched off the background music like for a very very long time. Like recently I played it back because someone was saying that the video actually sounds a bit too quiet if the BGM is off, so I brought it back. But it's very faint. But I think the two last shots will be going up here, if I'm not wrong. Bubu Yin will be going up against. Yeah! Nope! I'm totally wrong. We see damn rubbish destroy going up against the Tempest from the start. So apparently, Chemical is like the starting member for Chicken Nugget here. Damn rubbish does well to get a stop and connect here. The Circle Swing as well. Didn't do quite well in the first game. He's to redeem himself. You can see the knockdown here. Counter Circle Shot Beta, the Whirlwind is out, Chemical needs to get out here, not to get hit by a Breaking Point. Circle Shot Counter used but avoided. Look at that Crisis How used wisely from damn rubbish here, he definitely has a good lead. Avoid getting caught by the Hurricane Dance, you can see that it was inches away for Chemical to connect there. Unfortunate for him definitely, as the Point Cloud is being used. He baits the Chain Trampoline, needs to bait the Tip Stops here. Circle Swing Counter against the Circle Shot here, the Cyclone Exit is going to come, no he's going to get it Bomber used. Oh, it's in the wrong direction here. He's gonna get caught by the ultimate, 11,000 damage here. As Kamika goes in, gets caught by the Crisis Howl, the Mushroom Howl takes him away. Nicely done by the Destroyer as he redeems himself in Game 2 against Chicken Nugget. I love Chicken Nuggets from McDonald's, anybody like Chicken Nuggets as well? Anybody on the live stream chat? Hello, there's 12 viewers. But right now, I think yeah, we're going up next. Or will they send StarCraft 2? Oh yes, indeed they send StarCraft 2 against the Destroyer here. Not to drag the gameplay out. Play it safe. Judge Shaman's gonna come out very soon. In the face! Yeah, indeed it is! Avoid the punishing to finish. And a nice jack shot of the Holy Reddit EX there. You can see Crisis Hound and something Hound both baited here. He, he should go in now to play aggressive. Gets caught by a ring bombs. His area baited. Electric Smart Iron Frame used by the Mistrum Power as a counter as well. As StarCraft 2 back to 54% HP. The Whirlwind is out as well. As right now he gets the lightning set to connect, well done by him definitely, he needs to do the much enough damage, he heals back first. Shinbreaker here is good, Holy Bolt as well. Bates the air evasion here, gets caught by a circle swing, his own air evasion baited, nice long continuation by Darabish here, he needs to go in to cycle next very soon, the thing is coming off off cooldown. Where is it? Where is it? No, it's gone, getting the ball once again. And it doesn't connect on the second hit, which is the one that does bulk of damage. Ring bombs avoided by Stakafu, Divine Vata used well, gets caught 2% HP, because it's how better, and the Judge Hammer nicely placed by Starcraft 2, but it took a lot of damage there, down to about 35 or 40% HP here. Right now we see the Adept going up against Crusader, is that going to be elemental? Nope, he's using Conviction Aura here. Rightfully as well, because Crusaders have a lot of skills based off the light attack. So you want to do as much damage as you can. Let's go for the Holy Relic EX there, I think that's unfortunate, I thought he actually got out of that. Let's go for Electric Smite here, 29% HP, Lengser Connects here, he's in trouble. It's gonna be taken away. Ugh, look at that, the kid flying away. 
Starcraft doing a two winning streak here, setting it up for game three possibly. But you never know because they have swiftly here. I think Nelson's the Guardian will be coming up this time. Not too sure. Because sending out swiftly and losing swiftly will be a problem definitely. Oh, they send out swiftly, so I think this is gamble here. It really depends on Swiftly's performance. And they can send a Gear Master to counter him right after this. Takes 3% damage here. Look at that, his timing on the Holy Relic EX is good. Straight away for the wing attack. Like he's not iframe nicely, avoided with a second kick iframe as well. Broken Dance! Oh, nice. From Swiftly, he's back at 100% HP and 100% MP. Swiftly one of the very, very good players. I mean, one of the very, very good acrobats I've seen so far in Westwood. Any other acrobats in Westwood that I missed out? Yes, we have Obvious, but apparently hasn't been really performing up to my standards or his own standards in the last few matches that I saw him. But we have Fish Pop the Game Master going up against. As you can see, Kenshi cheering for Chicken Nuggets at the moment. We want to see a game here. Based area version, the spell attacks wide nicely from Fish Pop here. As Swiftly baits the HQ iframe, needs to watch out for the gravity screen well placed if he comes in in the Ice Palm Tower casting here. So he wisely does not go in yet. My own strategy against Game Masters is I only go in after the Ice Palm Tower disappears. I'll never go in with the Ice Palm Tower, that's just too risky. I work dance, or oh, this time you can see a gravity screen in place. Bounty shot, Fish Grenade baits the spell attacks as well! He might take him away swiftly for you. Takes away his opponent swiftly as well. Happened too quickly there. Two winning streak. As right now it's three to two. Swiftly doing very well. I think yeah, the illustrious come up right here. If not, they will be in trouble. Hello, Mizu. Should we be leveling or gladiator now? Oh yeah, Fukutian and Woodlord going up against Swiftly. It's not gonna be easy, man. Woodlord fighting. A Tempest. It's caught by the kick shot in the second kick here. The Star Wars straight away. Might be taken away from the start second shot as well. The flinch chain, Bowman kick. Oh, avoided there. Hurricane Dance cancel as well. Definitely, he can feel safe for now. Swiftly not catching him at the moment. Star Wars protect as well. Look at that. The animation was still in the air when he cancelled it due to the fast speed. Ultimate! Oh, oh he's actually doing an air walk in the air, what's happening? My goodness! This is actually caught on video, it's pretty, pretty interesting. The next Hurricane Dance will be up very soon. As Kenshi says, am I seeing things? He's not. Hurricane Dance connects after the Boomblade Dance! It's a vulnerable when you're landing unless you go into aerial combo. But even that is also a vulnerable state. So 3 within this trick at the moment for Swiftly is down to the last member. It's just now. Right now, let's try here from Chicken Nuggets. Yeah, this is a pull out a good performance. It took away three players, including the Guardian. And who else? Including the Illustra as well. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, definitely a very good Illustra here. Oh, gets covered by Hurricane Dance here in the Spiral Attacks. It's gonna be in trouble. 31% HP, reactive being used well here. Chilling is used in a desperate moment. See, Akish is well. Ice Spear baited as well. The ultimate might take him away. Gets frozen here. Oh, gets covered the ice cage, nicely done. Shatter connects as well. But the ultimate there, the blink too early, swiftly for you. Four kills at the moment as game two goes to man SIA as well. GG well played by both teams. As yeah, so now I'm going to spring it'll be FPAs up against Flip Table. So we'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye. And remember to follow us on Twitch TV if you haven't, and subscribe to Team Sandy Gaming, our YouTube channel as well if you haven't. Yep, thanks for watching once again, God bless.